not accustomed to exercise to improve the body, but what about a workout to improve the brain? This is interesting. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like calisthenics for the cranium. CBS 2's Jennifer Sabi has been looking into who is doing this three-minute-a-day brain training, and we're fascinated by it, Jen. Yeah, well, people say it makes them smarter, Paul and Laura. It's called super brain yoga, an exercise intended to pump up cell and neuron activity in the brain. Alzheimer's patients, seniors looking to stave off memory loss, and kids in classrooms are among those who say doing it makes them smarter. Now take your right hand, cross over the left side. A medical doctor in Los Angeles prescribes an exercise. Inhale going down, exhale coming up. Not so as patients grow stronger, but so they become smarter. He probably had a C average. I taught him these exercises, and by the next semester, he, he was a completely different kid. His grades had gone almost straight A's. Take your left hand. A teacher in Malibu saw similar improvements in her learning disabled kids. We have kids that have autism, kids that have Asperger's, all different, different needs. They were assigned the movements. Inhale. Exhale. Not to shape their muscles, but to sharpen their minds. Yeah, we get smarter and smarter. Good, Brandon. One child used to just stand there and not move. And now I'll ask him to do something, and he'll look at me, and he'll just take a moment, and then he'll do it. A teacher, a doctor. And then you take the right hand and place it over to the left earlobe. A Yale neurobiologist. Yes, I do it every day. Blow and up. an occupational therapist. Inhale, blow up. I think this might be the key to help unlock these children. All are among those experimenting with an exercise to increase intelligence called super brain yoga. I would say the super brain yoga is a fast, simple, drug-free method of increasing mental energy. I learned super brain yoga from Master Choa Kaksui, and I noticed in my own life it made a difference. Like I wasn't spending as much time looking for my keys or walking into a room and forgetting why I was there. Yale neurobiology researcher Jean Ang says super brain yoga stimulates neural pathways in the brain by activating acupuncture points on the earlobe. In modern terms, um, the brain is actually lateralized. So holding the left ear actually activates the right brain and holding the right ear actually activates the left brain. Aang says after doing the squatting sequence, EEG scans show the right and left hemispheres of the brain are synchronized. And you're going to bring it across your body. Reina Corturba doesn't need charts and, and graphs to be convinced. Right she saw the change firsthand in one seven-year-old student diagnosed as emotionally disturbed and dyslexic. Could barely hold a pencil, could barely write. He's now in a regular ed classroom without an aid. He's one of the top children in his class. This is a photo of a boy with autism and his mother who says he was transformed after starting super brain yoga. And he would bite, headbutt me, kick me, punch me, run against the wall, headbutt the wall. Since he started the exercise, he's not had one outburst. For a culture accustomed to exercising to get fit, not get smart, yoga for brain power may seem harebrained. I tell the patients and I tell the parents, you know, this looks a little bit hokey, but the proof's in the pudding, and I've seen it work. Yes, it does seem strange, but the effects are so worth the effort. It's like five minutes a day. And once I got myself the discipline to do it, it made such a dramatic effect in my life that it's, it's like it's a no-brainer. <laughs> Researchers say super brain yoga can help anyone of any age increase their intelligence. The exercise is rather easy to learn, so if you're interested, you can go to our website and we'll show you how you can learn more about super brain yoga. I'm Jennifer Sabi, CBS 2 News. Paul, back to you.